Through the study of books, one seeks God. Through meditation, one finds him. Welcome to the Meditate Word podcast, where our goal is to help people focus on the Word of God in their day-to-day lives. For more information, news, and links, visit us at MeditateWord.com. Also, if this is your first time here, I highly recommend checking out Episode Zero. This episode will give you more information about Christian meditation, including what the Bible says about meditation. Enough about us. Let's get to it. You can listen to this wherever you are, but ideally, you'll want to find a comfortable spot and free from distractions. This is a four-part step to Christian meditation, preparation, consideration, affections and resolutions, and conclusion. First, let's prepare ourselves. Romans 8:24 through 27 says, For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Now it's time to focus on Scripture. I'll read the passage several times. Simply focus all of your thoughts on the following passage. Isaiah 12, 2 tells us, See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Isaiah 12, 2 tells us, See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Isaiah 12, 2 tells us, See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. How does this passage make you feel?
What will you resolve to do today? Now pray this prayer with me. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word and thank you for loving me. I ask that you guide my footsteps and lead me in the direction of your will. In Jesus' name, amen.